Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to you as well. I have a lot of new subscribers and I want to thank you guys for joining me on my journey for weight loss. I've been on this journey for a long time. If you go back through my order videos, I've been trying this again and again and again and I keep messing up, but I keep trying. And I think that's the most important part is no matter how many times you fall off, you have to get back up and keep trying. I think the only time that you fail, you truly fail, is when you stop trying. And I won't stop trying. So as you can probably tell, I have a new setting for this video. This isn't going to be a permanent setting. This is just a lounge in my apartment building. It is actually like 2.30 in the morning and I can't sleep. And Jean is asleep, so I decided that instead of bothering him or waiting till later to make this video, I would just grab my camera and my tripod and come downstairs and film this video. I have most of the other clips made and this is just kind of like the talky fill-in part of the video to tell you guys a few things and kind of explain what the clips you're gonna see are. So I really haven't posted that much stuff on my channel recently, this time about my weight loss or my weight loss attempts. A lot of you know that I am doing keto and I guess the reason why I haven't posted too much yet is because the first few days, the transitional phase that I go through when I start eating better, stop eating the junk food, it's pretty tough for me. Um, over the weekend it was really tough. I had a couple days where I had absolutely no energy, but now my energy is picking back up and I'm feeling a lot better. So during that time I just decided to kind of lay low. I put out a couple videos during that time, but I'm going to try to start doing daily videos again and doing daily weigh-ins as well. So recently, Keto Diamond and I have been chatting and she has always been a really awesome inspiration for me. If you haven't checked her out, you should definitely do so. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel in the description below. But she was the one who encouraged me, not necessarily, um, she didn't even know me or know that she encouraged me, but she did. A lot of people had suggested that I try keto in the very beginning, back in the summertime and even before that, but I was always hesitant to do so because, partly because I didn't understand it and partly because I was afraid of giving up the carbs because I am totally a carb addict. But I stumbled upon her video one day and then I watched some of her videos. I went to her website. I'll also leave a link in the description below for her website where she tells you everything you need to know about starting keto. Simple, nothing fancy, nothing hard. It's just all straight forward information. And it's not expensive foods. It's not things that you have to necessarily go out and buy. You can start with whatever you have in your kitchen that is obviously not a carb. But she is an amazing inspiration. She's lost, the last I had checked, over 140 pounds on keto, and she looks amazing and is doing so well. So definitely check her out. But anyhow, she and I have been chatting, and she had mentioned that she would love to do a collab with me as well. And that just kind of like tickled me because she's my inspiration, and I would love to do a collab with her. So I messaged her the other day and I was like, hey, are you still willing to do that collab with me? And she said she was. So what we decided that we're going to do, now my part of the collab won't start until tomorrow because that is my weigh-in day. I had initially committed to weighing every Wednesday, but I've changed it to decide and I decided to weigh every day. When I was weighing daily, a few months ago that really kept me on track and it kept me accountable for what I was eating and how I was doing because when I don't post my weight it's easy to slip up it's easy to hide things that I'm not willing to admit to eating and then if nobody sees the scale move up then of course I don't have to admit it now, we all know that there are going to be days where your weight fluctuates. That's normal for anyone, whether you are 500 pounds or 100 pounds, people's weight fluctuates. So I'm not talking about a couple tenths of a pound or even a pound, but it's easy for me to 
hide a few pounds because I've eaten poorly rather than just be honest this way posting my weight posting what I eat will keep me accountable for that so that is going to start on Wednesday so you'll see everything I eat and my weigh in um, and we'll go from there with that I'm really excited to do this I need this in my life I need the accountability of course I spoke with my therapist and she is totally on board with this I've also spoken with my doctor about doing keto my doctor is totally for keto um, I've mentioned this in the comments as well my doctor one of the doctors that is in the practice with her used keto lost all the weight he needed to and then transitioned back into a healthier style of eating that included carbs so lower carbs so everybody that I've spoke with my the professionals in my life they are totally on board with it and of course if something changes or if it doesn't work or I feel that it's not working or if it's something that I don't like anymore or I have a problem with it I'll definitely reevaluate but this is my course of action right now this is what I plan on doing and this is what I'm going to stick with so without further ado I'm going to insert the clips here of what I ate yesterday I get confused because I am taping this it's technically Tuesday while I'm taping this so I guess yesterday which is Monday um, you're gonna see everything I ate I made an amazing new crock pot meal it's called and I'm pretty sure this is the name of it crock pot or no keto crack chicken and it was amazing I'll show you in the video in my clips what I ate how I that recipe how I made it and then on each clip you'll see the number of calories carbs calories and carbs um, that I consumed with that meal and then at the very last clip I'll show you the total for the day and then you can go watch that and I'll be right back in a minute it's 1043 a.m. on Monday morning I've been up since 6 a.m. but I had coffee and spent some time with some people hanging out with some friends and now I'm going to start dinner for tonight I'm making I think it's called keto crack chicken I'm not completely sure but I'm going to be putting it in my handy dandy little crock pot here thank you to my neighbor for loaning it to me because mine broke so I'm gonna put it on low and it goes for eight hours on low so what I'm gonna do first is put the chicken in the crock pot with a half a cup of chicken broth and a packet of ranch seasoning mix and then I'm gonna let that cook all day for eight hours and then I'll shut it up, but I'll be back for my next step and show you what it looks like. All right, I have everything for the first step in the crock pot, and that's one half cup of chicken broth, a packet of ranch seasoning mix, and two pounds of chicken breast. So I'm gonna put the lid on, and this is going to cook away for about eight hours in the crock pot on low, and then we'll be back I'll show you the next steps in a little bit. You'll probably see other things in between here, but this is just dinner prep. It's 11.13 a.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day. I had my coffee at like 8 a.m. and I sipped on it till about 9.30 or so. And now I'm having something to eat. I pulled these out of the cupboard. These is, this is what I got last time when I was doing keto and I've just had it in there ever since. And it is really good. It's by High Key, and it's, of course, the Instant Hot Cereal. I don't know why one of them says Keto Instant Hot Cereal, and the other one just says Instant Hot, hot Cereal. One is low carb, one is Keto. I'm going to have the Keto one today because this one is the one that looks really good. And I have had the Cocoa Almond before. The Cinnamon Spice I've had, too, because it's open, of course. But it's okay, but I prefer the Cocoa Almond. And the stats are really good on this. As you can see there, there's 2 grams of carbs, 13 fat, and 8 protein. 170 calories. This also has some pretty clean ingredients. As you can see here, it has hemp seeds, coconut, natural sweetener with erythritol, monk fruit extract, stevia extract, almonds, sunflower seeds, milk, protein, isolate, 
flax seeds, chia seeds, cocoa powder, hydrolyzed collagen and sea salt. So there it is. There it is in my bowl. You can see, definitely see the chia seeds in there. So I'm just gonna give it a stir and then put it in the microwave for two minutes. And like I said, this is two servings. I ended up only eating half of the keto cereal that I made. So instead of having two servings, I had one serving with one half tablespoon of peanut butter. It's 2.18 p.m. I'm having my next meal of the day. This is four servings of green, five servings of green olives, I'm sorry. That's 20 olives. There's four olives per serving. There is three slices of Munster cheese and a packet of my corned beef. Stats on this is really good as well. This is 100 calories, one carb, nine protein, seven fat. So that's what I'm going to eat for lunch, and I'll show you an update on my chicken. It's still in there, cooking away, and that is what we're having so far, along with my 32 ounces of water. It's now 9 o'clock. We got caught up with doing some things around our building, helping out, and so we didn't get done until late. Gene's having a tortilla of his. But this is delicious, I already tasted it. This is the Keto Crock Chicken, I believe it's called. It's what I showed you I was making this morning. It turned out amazing. There's chicken breast and chicken broth. And then the ranch seasoning packet. And then you let that cook for eight hours on low or four hours on high until it's done. Then you shred it all up, add a bag of shredded cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, and some crumbled bacon. And you have, voila, that yummy goodness right there. Then I'm also going to have some Brussels sprouts on the side. I might have some, I'm thinking about having pork rinds to dip in this. No, I don't think I am. I'm just going to eat this as is. And that's going to be my dinner. Probably the last thing I eat for the evening. I will put the calories and the fat, carbs, all that good stuff in below here on this clip. Oh, also going to have my 32 ounces of water over there. This is a Pepsi bottle, but this is just water. We've been filling up. So this is 32 ounces of water. All right. So another thing that I did yesterday, which was really encouraging, as I said, I'm starting to get my energy back. The first couple days of keto, I kind of lose energy, and I think that's pretty normal. I've heard a lot of people talk about that. You feel very tired for a couple days, and then your energy comes back, and my energy is back. So to yesterday, I was going to say today, Yesterday, I was really willing to get up and walk. Jean has been an amazing support and an encourager for me to start walking more. And we have decided, he suggested actually, that he would use my chair and he would drive the chair down the hall and I would walk so that when I felt like I needed to stop that I could go ahead and stop and just sit down and rest. Um, one of the things that holds me back from walking more is the fear of falling. Even when I was working with my therapist, my physical therapist, um, probably over a year ago now, I guess, the thing that we talked about and they agreed, the couple physical therapists that I saw, that I have the ability to walk. I have strength in my legs. It's just my fear that is holding me back mostly and I need to get over that fear. So this is gonna be a great way to help me get over that fear, knowing that I have my chair there that I can sit if I need to, and that helps me so much. He has been such an encourager. He is my biggest cheerleader, and I will never be able to say thank you to him enough for helping me and encouraging me to 
push forward even when I don't want to. So I took a little clip of me walking. There's more, I'm not going to insert the whole clip. We did this three or four times yesterday, but I'll just insert one of the clips so you can see me walking and getting my a little bit of exercise in for the day. I'm gonna try not to look like I'm dying while I'm walking. So I'm not gonna lie, my legs are burning right now. They're still tired and sore from walking, but it's a good sore and it makes me feel good that I have something to show for that and I know why they're hurting. It's not hurting from inactivity, it's hurting from building muscle and moving forward with wellness in my life. Um, another thing that I noticed too, after I walked, I didn't get as winded as I thought I was going to get. Of course I did get winded, but not quite as bad as I thought. Also, I noticed after I exercised, after I rested for a little while, I felt more energized. Moving my body made me feel more energetic. And then that's when I was able to keep walking a couple more times during the day. So it, everything is going really well. Tomorrow you'll see my weigh-in and how much I've lost. I kind of know the number of what I've lost because I've weighed myself three times. Like I said, it's gonna change to daily again, but I have this past week weighed a couple times and it's encouraging and good news. I'll just give you that little sneak peek. So there you go. That was my Monday. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, which will be Wednesday for you, but it was my Tuesday and you'll see my weigh in for the week, how much I lost in the week and we'll be putting stones in the bowl and we'll be putting dollars in the cookie jar. I'll see you guys again. Remember everyone, be the love, be the light, and do good things. Bye everyone.